Hey, sorry about that guys. Um, we are on vacation and we are in this cute little beach house and the Wi-Fi isn't the best. So if you cannot see me on the other end um, or hear me, just let me know, send me a comment. But until then, if you're connecting with ribbon braiding, uh, shoot me some hearts or send me some thumbs up just so that I know that you can hear me. Um, I'm excited to share this with you because um, I invented this hairstyle. I say I invented it because it was actually an accident how it happened. Um, maybe it's out there and I don't know it, but I made up the fancy name Ribbon Braiding due to I was doing a wedding party of about seven, seven or eight girls makeup and hair and if you are a makeup artist or a hairdresser you know usually you do not tackle both you only do one and um anyway time was running out and i freaked out and the last girl to sit down in my chair to get her hair down get her hair done her hair was actually still damp i only had maybe 40 minutes left and I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. So I started putting these braids in her hair and creating what I like to call ribbon braids. Um, so there are a lot of fun. You can do all kinds of different things with them. You can utilize it on long hair and short hair and do different sizes of braids and they look, they look beautiful. I love them for the summer. So um, if you lost me earlier, I wanted to announce the winner of last week, and that was Kim Zalewski, your second time winning. First time she won a flat iron. This time, girl, you're winning a microderm abrasion for your body. So um, we play Who's Next on my phone, and it came up with your name again. So um, I'm excited for you. Send me your uh, address, and then I'll just mail it to you. Um, okay, so first of all, I chose to kind of put um, light curls in my hair before I do my braids. You do not have to do that, uh, especially if you have soft, long, straight hair and it doesn't get real frizzy. You don't have to do what I did. I curled my hair because I have layers and I don't want the layers to pop up in my pop out in my braids and I want the curls to wrap around the braids. So um, we can do this and several sections are just a few. I'm gonna stick with the picture that I was advertising with all of you of that real pretty elegant updo, and I'm gonna do three braids. We're gonna ribbon them, ribbon them, and we are gonna pin them. I'm going to use these really long bobby pins to secure them. So the beefier your braids are, the longer the bobby pin you wanna use. If you are gonna do really small braids and several of them, then you wanna move down a size. This is a normal size bobby pin, but there are actually bobby pins out there that are half the size of a normal bobby pin. And they're excellent for really teeny tiny braids. Uh, I did do a tutorial, it is on my YouTube channel under Cottage Clippings, and it's how to shop for a bobby pin and how to insert the bobby pin. So if you missed that, I'm going to encourage you, go to YouTube, type in Cottage Clippings, and you'll go right to it, and you'll see how to utilize these bobby pins. I'm going to try to use maybe seven bobby pins for this hairstyle, and that is it. Maybe we'll go over, it depends on where this, um, where it takes us, but, um, yeah, I'm going to get started. So those of you who are joining and tuning in, uh, know that I'm out located by the Pittsburgh airport. My hair salon is, and it is called Cottage Clippings. Right now, I come to you on my vacation. I have been coming to you faithfully every Wednesday, and I haven't missed since January. So we are on Anna Marie Island right now, and I'm in this cute little house. It's adorable. And we were scrambling for lighting and a place and a place to do this. So um, I hope that y'all can hear me. While I'm doing this, I'm sectioning my hair right now in three sections. If you have any questions as I'm doing this, please feel free to ask. Um, but we're going to stick to this one hairstyle and then I'm going to show you next week another hairstyle. Um, thank you, Jen. Thank you. Happy vacay indeed. Okay. So I have these two sections and one section in the back. Jennifer's perfect hairstyle for you. Perfect, you can do this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a loose braid and 
the future video that I'm going to share with you, we're actually going to put a gum band in it here, then braid it because we're going to weave flowers and vines in through the braid. So, but we're not going to do that this one. So stay tuned for next week because you're going to want to see it. It's beautiful and it's basic and you can do it yourself. Okay. Then I'm going to quit talking. I talk so much. I have to stop. Okay. So I'm going to make just a loose braid and the messier the better you don't want to be neat with this because the hairstyle if you saw the picture that I posted of this hairstyle um, it's not a neat style so letting the hair kind of free flow wherever it goes. One of the mistakes that I see when people do messy updos is they quit too soon. Um, a messy up to, updo doesn't look uh, great until it's finished. So you want to finish it and just take your time. So, all right, here's this basic braid. And I'm gonna pancake it just a little bit. Now, I did that in a video a couple weeks ago. I taught you how to make these braids a little bit beefier. So before I do anything, I wanna kinda make these a little bit wider. Just like this. Okay, now, when you get to the bottom and you have your three pieces, you're gonna take one of the three pieces and you're gonna just hold on to it and you're gonna ribbon it and you're gonna take all this hair, you're gonna push it up like this and you're just gonna have this one piece. Once you get to the top, you're just gonna kinda of pull the hair like this. Pull the hair out just a little bit. Like that some hair down if you want and so you see how this looks really messy here ignore it who cares we'll look for all that perfection later and let that dangle it's okay now I'm going to take my really really long bobby pin I'm going to flip it upside down and I am going to secure that and then we're going to take these little loose hairs and the fun thing about this hairstyle is every time you go to do it, it looks different because you never know where these braids are going to land and how it's going to end up. And so live is kind of crazy because I really don't know what's going to happen here because we're going to kind of invent our own little thing. All right, I'm going to let that go to the very end, but this is what it looks like so far. So we're going to do this next section. And we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna braid it into a really loose braid. I'm gonna pull some hair down. And I'm gonna take the braid towards the back. Hey guys, you there? It, are you all there? Cause it disconnected me again. If you can hear me, shoot me some thumbs up because I just had to reconnect. So we're on the second braid. Can you all hear me? On the other end there let me know I don't see anything so I might have to turn this off and relocate where I'm shooting this video okay any thumbs up hearts shoot me something it's not coming through and if you already shot it and I didn't get it it's on my end okay so after you finish your braid I'm still not seeing okay thank you for the thumbs up okay so after you're done braiding your basic braid you're gonna hold on to one piece of hair and you're gonna ribbon it hi Karen thank you very much and you're gonna push it up like this just like if you ever buy the the ribbons and you have to I don't know if you've ever bought ribbons that come pancaked and you have to open them up they're really great but look how cool that is and so we're gonna set that down just like this and we're gonna let that hang out and we're gonna put a bobby pin in it. Now, if you have short hair like Karen, you're on and you have a bob, 
you can do the same thing and you're just going to make small braids and push them up. So we're going to leave all this craziness hang out. It's really okay. So we have two bobby pins in. Let me show you what that looks like in the back. And now we're going to make a third braid, just a basic braid back here. And we're going to connect these. And again, it doesn't look great until it's all finished. So we'll make a third braid in the back. So do you all understand what ribbon braiding is? So you're gonna braid all the way down and make sure your braid is kind of loose. You don't want it real tight because you wanna be able to maneuver it and puff it out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to one of the three pieces, it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to take the rest of the hair and I'm going to push it up like this. And just keep pushing, let that hang down. And I'm going to puff this out a little bit in the back. I do not have a mirror to see this. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue what this is going to look like when I turn around and see you guys. This is complete guesswork, other than looking at my phone right now. So y'all are going to have to let me know how this back turns out. Okay, so now all of the pieces that were left, all you're going to do is you're going to carry them across like this, and you're just going to pin them. Now you can use small bobby pins for this. And I'm just going to be tucking this inside. You can put it anywhere that you want, guys, anywhere. I don't like how this turned out when I braided it, so I'm gonna fix this. Now, because I'm dealing with smaller areas, I'm using smaller bobby pins. So the big sections, I use big bobby pins. The small sections, I'm using small bobby pins. Karen, do you have any questions? I know that you can do this. You and Jen both can do this. You and Jen Fugo. I know you can. Okay. Let me puff that out a little bit. I'm not totally in love with that. What do you guys think? What do we have here? Three, four, six bobby pins. It really feels tight too, guys. All right. What's that look like? I honestly, I need a mirror because I'm on vacation. I don't even have a mirror to look at the back of this. I have no clue. So what do y'all think? Give me a heart. Too bad there's no like thumbs down because I want thumbs up or thumbs down. So how does that look? You like that? It's a really cool technique. And look, we're going to add something special in it. We're going to put these. I found these along the beach. Aren't they pretty? So we could add some flowers. I love watching you try it. You can do it, Karen. I know you can. So we could put these flowers in here and really duck this out. Now I prefer to do these flowers with hair pins, not bobby pins, but I didn't bring any on vacation with me. So when you do flower placement, you do them in um, multiples. You either do one or three. You do one, three, or seven. So we're gonna do three. I'm kind of a little nervous because I don't know what this back looks like whatsoever. And I'm trying to think my makeup, my makeup mirrors that I have in the bathroom. I should grab them and go look real quick. But I'm going to trust you. <laughs> it is for easy living, for sure. But look how cute, guys. Do you like the flower? That's super simple. Whoops, this back is falling out. Hold on, i got to put another bobby pin. Yikes. Okay, that's it. Super easy ribbon braiding. You heard it first here. Cottage clippings. If you see that anywhere, you'll know. Michelle Morton did that. Okay. All right, guys. Enjoy. Share. 
share the video so that you have a chance to win next week, next Wednesday. Thank you guys. Bye.